Grand Boulevard and Lafayette area, more recently tucked in a little closer to downtown. Been knowing Freedom Freedom, Wayne and Myrtle for a number of years. And yeah, I came here to the art show upstairs and bumped into my man and he invited me, so I thought I would come. Thank you. Sorry if I bring some politics into the mix. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm somebody who's been schooled by the folk in that neighborhood from the mid-70s on and rearranged as a white male by black folk hipping me to how race works and white supremacy has determined so much of the character of the country. And more recently involved with a lot of folk resisting the water shutoffs and to a degree, as I've had time uh, involved with some of the young people in Detroit who are part of Black Lives Matter, and this is a piece about that. Let's see if I get my lighting right here. I do it like this. So this is called Street Talk. Hands up, like an aerobic exercise over the graveyard of America. Hands up, knowing where the bones are, convening Ezekiel plots of skeletal moans under the coffin covers, ready to riot into resurrection conflagration inside the court of imperial condemnation, where all the air goes when all the I can't breathe shows of power over dark souls and stolen red soils and disappeared John Doe speaking no goes to blue suited foes of people hopes and hardcore ain't going down without a fight swing lows. Throw down a street flow of bodies marching in hot rows of organized shootbacks with bullet words of resolve to unsolve the corporation solution for neighborhoods of conniption, refusing their delegation to a homeless situation or the cell block of renegade non cooperators igniting a revolution of conscience. Like young bloods in Oreo Town raging in a rebellion of flame, or Mumia in Philadelphia dungeon bouncing grenades of truth off prison walls into young suburban ears, while parents skyrocket in fear of the leering grin of daughters suddenly hit to the slaughter, or sons reconnoitering the supremacist logic with a heart tipping towards a schematic of liberation led by an MC like Pefco in St. Louis, or will see at the crossing of the straight city. This is a Mike Brown wake up like an or an Eric Garner take up of breath, a Freddie Gray throw down, or a Walter Scott return from the ground, like a spirit come back into the supine limbs of Tamir Rice, rising like an army of ISIS, cold hard in refusal of compromise, as a Detroit mama pirating water from a shut off meter in civil disobedience for her granddaughter's father, locked into a dialysis tube as fodder for big ag and big pharma profit. Or the forgiveness of Mother Emmanuel in Charleston over nine bodies splayed on the floor in utter desolation even while praying Tubman and truth back up from the grave on a mission of resurrection and reparation. The situation is all a racket. For the sake of a quick loan macking of emergency management tactics serving the Lord of jacked up markets and climate catastrophe, it's all a racket. But beware. When one too many bodies have been smacked down, what comes back up on a mission of high stakes rebound will not ask permission yeah. or care about the season. Mm. Is there any reason at all to hope? The answer may be no, but that is no reason not to rise up and speak and organize. Mm.